Hello, my wonderful spirit guides. Today I'm going to be reacting to Kalayla and her new album, Raven. I'm very much looking forward to getting into this one. And actually, I am even more excited because I rewatched my Take Me Apart video uh, reaction I did uh, about a year and a half ago now. And um, I remember at the time being like, I liked a lot of the songs, but not all the songs. And um, I know I wasn't feeling very well in the video, but anyway, I rewatched that video and I was like, oh my gosh, like all the songs I actually do love now. And like, I, and because I wasn't feeling well, I remember the last two songs, I was like, I don't really love them, but I do love them. I love them so much, so beautiful. And I just love all the jazzy elements, the electronic elements, Arca's production, the vocals, the meanings behind the songs. Oh my gosh, I just absolutely love it now. And that's crazy because like, that doesn't always happen, but it just like took some time. I, I don't know, just, I don't, it's just crazy how our minds can change or it could just be the day or it could just be, I don't even know, but damn, I do remember saying like, after posting that video that I like it a lot more. Like I, I remember I liked it a bit more after, you know, editing it and something like that. I remember I really liked it a lot more, but I guess then I didn't listen to it for like ages. And then yeah, rewatched rewatched my reaction video, listened to a few songs and was like, this is genuinely so, so good. Sorry, I got toothpaste on my lip. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, yeah, but you know, this isn't about Take Me Apart, but I did want to say that, that that's made me more excited to listen to this. I have no idea what it's going to sound like, of course. I hope it has some of the same, like, interesting jazzy sounds and, like, electronic sounds and, you know, heavenly sounds. Um, but this one is called Raven, and it's a lot more darker looking, like the you know, she's been submerged in water in the album cover. And, you know, that leads me on to say that I'm going to be doing kind of a dark makeup look today, just to go with Raven and so on. Um, uh, I just thought it'd be quite fitting. Obviously the music always, to me, feels kind of light and beautiful, but Ravens are beautiful. They really are. If you'd like to go on Patreon, please do. The links will be below in the description. I have four tiers to choose from. We've got just the, the standard, which is being able to watch all videos uncut and early access. Uncut is like the main thing. And plus it just really supports me. And then the second tier is song requests. So like once or twice a month, I do like a thread where you put your song requests and I do a big full video where I react to them all and timestamp them. And then, you know, now I'm cutting them up and putting them on YouTube too. Um, and then the third tier is album requests. So this is my bulkier one just because obviously albums take a long time and they took a long time to edit and then I edit them for YouTube too with the new album request tier. It's like you get the full package basically. Um, because before I'd be like, uh, pay me a tip to put it onto YouTube, but with the new tier, it's just all in one. Anyway, and then the fourth tier is movie reactions, which is something I've only dove into once so far. I really enjoyed it, but I'm still like, you know, just waiting for people to give me a request, still getting into it. If I get a request, I'll do it right away. But like off my own accord, I'm, I'm still kind of thinking about it a little bit, but uh, yeah, I really do like doing that because I'm a huge movie buff. But anyway, also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I shall follow you back. If you'd like to send me a tip, then I have a PayPal link below. And like, comment, subscribe, because I love reading your comments. And yeah, it just really helps the channel out. But anyway, I'll, oh, I'll also <laughs> got a Discord too. So if you want to go chat to like-minded people about my videos or about music, whatever you want to do, you could go over there. Okay, cool. Right, anyway, let's actually do this. There's not going to be a lot of like, um, this song means, I doubt, I doubt there's going to be a lot of this song means this because the album is obviously very new. Um, there'll be some of that on the songs that have already been listened that came out as singles, of course, maybe. But I guess I'll just have to make my own interpretations and see how that goes. Right, all right, all right, all right, let's do it. Enough chitter chatter and more listen lasser. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Ow, I put these on to keep my hair back. These little claspy things, but now they're just causing me problems. Hmm, yeah, too much problems. My headphones kind of work as a hairband anyway. <laughs> All right, 
I look hilarious. I look like the grudge or something. That's fine. We love the grudge. Right. Anyway, next song. Uh, not next song. <laughs> First song, Washed Away. I love how it's called Washed Away and I like, you know, felt like Take Me Apart had lots of watery feelings, especially in the song Take Me Apart. I often don't actually know what I'm doing with my makeup look, just a general idea, so brace yourself for that. <laughs> Grey colours for her eyes, you know. The mist, the light, the dust that settles, the night, the wow, the instrumental is so minimal right now. I think that's great for an intro song. the other day that she was quite inspired by Janet Jackson. We were talking about it on my uh, Velvet Rope uh, reaction. by Jovan Lenz. Oh, how interesting to have that at the end. Oh, and I'm getting washed into the water like on the album cover, like her head was just above it. It feels like she just got swallowed down. Oh, and it went into happy ending. Okay, gorgeous, gorgeous so far. So she says far away, washed away, uh, you know, she says all that. And then she says, the mist, the light, the dust that settles in the night, the hope, the longing, fade away, blurry eyed, riding out on metal rays, moving on a change of pace and I'm far away. Ooh, it sounds like falling asleep even. And then like waking up the next day, like moving on a change of pace, but also just like she's far, or maybe she's just, she's far away from the darkness that she was in or far away from the happiness she was in. She's far away from something and washed away. She's very much different now. She's changing, evolving maybe, but there's something that is gone about her. I'll have a look. After four years long hiatus, Kalela's coming comeback brings a harmonic heart soothing song as the first single from her second studio album the teasing for her comeback began on september the 11th 2022 when she posted a short video on her social medias the video consists of screenshots of fans tweets wondering where kalayla disappeared and begging for her to come back without any previous announcement she released the song by posting a call for her fans to meet her on a youtube page with a link to the song's music video Oh, that's cute. And then she has also said, Kalela has said this, I love a banger, but for the first point of contact out of my hiatus, it felt more honest to lead with an ambient heart check. Hmm. Intro songs are just so important. And I've said this so many times, I feel like they're more important than the last track because the intro song is what you kind of, it, it brings you in, you know, and you could either go, that sucks, I'm not listening to anymore. Or you could be like, oh, I wonder what's going to happen next. And with a song like this, that is ambient and soft and, and then ends with that kind of watery, surging and submerging sounds. It makes you go, oh, what's happening? What's happening next? I just think that's so good. I specifically want to speak to marginalised black folk and highlight the work we do to find renewal in a world that's built to make us feel inadequate. The song is a soundtrack to the relief we find after going inward. Yeah, oh, that's really interesting. So of course that's something that I cannot understand uh, through experience, but I can definitely uh, empathise and so on like that. And I think it's absolutely beautiful that we have 
uh, we have her having a song like this and very straight out the back and I wonder if like she'll sing about this subject more and more throughout um who knows but anyway let's do it next one is called happy ending and I love that it's called happy ending and it's only the second song like we're ending already we've just been washed away and now we've got we're going to an ending I don't know interesting let's go Ooh. oh Oh, these sounds, like the tune. Garagey drum. Drum and bassy garage. Wow, but they just tuned keys. Oh my God, it's actually kind of like scary, but in a good way. is but like she does it fully like a chord <laughs> that's nice oh and then it falls away that drum just peeking up a little bit and then being like see ya Transition was sexy. <laughs> Damn. Ah, oh, that song was interesting. It lit like I was saying, it felt like three songs mixed together. You had the piano doing a kind of detuned sound here and there. Like it's a little bit, you know, talking about this again. I talked about it with Scissors album, but the ice cream van effect. Not fully, but a little bit, yeah. Then you had like the drum and bass drum. Uh, giving it this like really like fast paced feeling but then you've got her long legato uh vocals with the harmonies that are just so heavenly and on point it literally felt like three separate elements it was crazy actually like the piano felt a bit like um uh hazy like a dream state and then the drums felt like this kind of rushed feeling like this almost anxiety this tension and then the vocals were like the core like just very like the like beauty in between i can't explain it maybe that's a bit poetic but yeah and i am um, absolutely just love her vocals so much so so well done and when i was saying like oh she does her harmonies like a chord like of course like you could do uh, uh, uh and then make a chord if you put them all together but like I can't explain, it's just the way that they're mixed and like the way they're so close. It feels like it could be an organ. They're just so tight and like the tones all match so well. I don't know, it's just done so well. Ooh. Anyway, she says, too far away, you're too far away at the start of the song. Always knew we could have been something. So it's like taking the first song and moving it into this song, but actually making it about something else maybe? Adding more context or 
more nuance. Yeah, the song just seems to be about like, uh, you know, reading it through. She is in love with this person and she wants him to stay. And she's saying like, I could be anything you wanted, like your dream girl, your literal dream girl. So why don't you just stay? Like the writing's on the wall, like, and it's saying, if you stay, we could be, have our happy ending. So why don't you, like, why are you so far away? Like, look at what's in front of you and come back and stay here. Yeah, that's beautiful. And the way it was done, I guess it does have that like romantic like sound with the vocals all like, don't you stay, you know? And then like the drums have like that kind of uh, desperation like that, please like, please stay, please stay. And then like the piano having that detuned sound could almost be like madness a little bit being like, again with the desperation just madness oh my god i can see a little blackbird outside actually i don't know if it's a blackbird it has an orange beak i'm looking it up yeah it is a blackbird yes i was right cute not a raven but a blackbird hello hello mrs blackbird right anyway <laughs> let's move on to the next song it's called let it go hmm let it go let it go no we just didn't need to do that did we it's just cheesy come on Oh, I feel like I'm gonna love it. I feel like I'm going to love this one. <laughs> I just love, I love it when I know instantly. <laughs> oh my gosh, I do love it. My love, can it tell me where you going? Wow. Oh, it just got even deeper with that bass. Because it already felt like a deep sound. That just came. Oh, it's just so good. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's just absolutely phenomenal. the delay on the vocal giving out like full-on atmosphere oh oh my god my eyes rolling back literally oh my gosh i'm, I'm really in love with this God, I look hilarious. <laughs> Keep catching a glimpse of myself and being like, actual joke. <laughs> okay, I feel like on the run is going to be fun. And the way, oh my gosh, the way they are sliding into each other is, is, like, I always love it when songs run into each other, whatever. But the way this album's doing it is very on point it, it, it's smooth very smooth like butter oh my gosh that song i feel like that's my favorite so far i don't even know why like it was definitely like more stripped back in a way than the other ones like well washed away was obviously quite stripped back but i don't know i love it wow it, it, it does sound like traveling into like the dark depths of like uh someone she cares about 
uh, like diving into their mind, embracing it together, like let me ride with you. We're together now. It's just a stormy cloud. There's nowhere, that's nowhere bound. Together now, tell me what you're going through. You know, I can see it's almost over, let it go. And now it's raining, like the, the stormy cloud has just bunched up all this water. And it's now, you know, she's gotten to the core of the pain that like this person she loves uh, is feeling and it's all just raining out and raining out could like be a metaphoric for the tears as well which is absolutely stunning I could really feel that in the song that very let it go you know like there was a point where I'm like uh, my eyes just I couldn't even help but then they were just rolling back because I could see the um uh the way her vocal delayed in that electronic kind of way it had like these um patterns that were like I ah uh, indescribable <laughs> Indescribable. They were they were like waves though, and they were like, oh, just very nice. But anyway, um, trying to go there, but you cop out. You wishy washy, but I'm no doubt he's wishy washy, saying like you know he's in and out. Very, and it's funny because the first one was called washed away, and then but I'm no doubt is like being like I'm like there's no doubt I am fully in. There's no worry with me. Um, I want to see you in the blue light. A reference to blue light the song from take me apart and then we in the dark you shining so bright you know and in the darkness of your pain you are so beautiful you are shining like a freaking beacon babe okay because it is beautiful when you're vulnerable ah oh, come bring your love around just bring your love around your love around i'll go inside running around just come on inside let it go let it go you hide but i'll find Oh my gosh, what a wonderful love song to someone who might be a little bit, like find it a bit difficult to let their feelings out, uh, especially in males, right? This is stunning, what a wonderful song. Okay, right, anyway, we're on to On The Run, let's go. Did it just shout let go then? I don't know. Nothing in this world can stop us right now. Nothing in this world can make this wrong. No, you want me too long. Mm, taking too long, babe. You're trying to play it off. I'm on it, you're on it, you're on it, you're baby. Hoping I'll be to the sun. I knew it'd be fun. Wow, it really feels like it's following on, you know? You get around enough to busy acting tough. Come get me right now. I shouldn't have to try. I won't wait all night. Ooh. My way. I'm a fire. I won't wait all night. Oh my god, I love that. That's really good. Call and response. I just love the feeling of that bass bubbles and yeah, it is like bubbles, like underwater going. Mm. Reminds me of on my way, like on and on. No, on on and on, not on my way. On to you, on and on. You know. The EQ being and the volume drowning out. Oh, sci fi synth. Oh, it's going to rise back up. God, this is so good again. This makeup just is never gonna get done. <laughs> wow. I am so
phone buttons. The way it just drops and like, you don't think it can go into like a deeper level, but it does. It's so nice. Oh, and we've gone into the next one, missed call. That's why we see what I mean by smooth transitions. You can hear the phone buttons like boop, 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 like 20 seconds or so, maybe 30 seconds or whatever, before it goes into the next song. So you're like, oh, what's these phone buttons? And, and it, it all leads to the next song. It's smooth. It's just damn smooth. And I'm loving every minute of it. But yeah, the whole song just again feels like, you know, this person's trying to get away, but she is a. Uh, trying to basically track them down and be like, I'm not gonna let you get away with this. You know, you're gonna show me your softer side. You're gonna show me the part of you uh, that is real, but I'm not gonna wait. You know, you, you better hurry up and make sure you don't lose me. It might be the worst decision of your life to lose me. So I'm not gonna wait. So come on, come on. Okay, cool. Next song is called Missed Call. Got that faster drum again. Wow. Nice. Loving the drum. Mm. Wow. Wow, I love the way it comes in. Like it goes light. And then that, like, you know, that bass comes in. And sometimes you don't notice when it's gone and then it comes back. Lovely jazzy guitar. <laughs> nice. one like even though it had like an upbeat feeling and so on I actually found it to be quite chill as you know it's weird it's like too chill to um no sorry too upbeat to be chill but too chill to be upbeat you know it's kind of like a strange um situation going on there yeah I found that one I could blend into quite easily without like being like shocked by loads of sounds but just loving it you know absolutely loving it and in verse one gone away all the days when I needed someone around far away far away yes far away but now again talk about the far away keeping it cohesive um I'm in a dream, I wake up until the moment that we make up, run away, run away, when I lose control, get a hold, you're, emotion you're emotional. Might be time to make that call, start to text, I hit a road, do I wanna fall in love again? I don't know, but I just might go ahead and take a bite, the nerve is leading up tonight, baby. Don't wanna be late, don't wanna be late, it's never too late, don't wanna be late. Interesting, it's very like, um, it doesn't sound like a new person, it sounds like someone 
it sounds like the same person, but they've like fallen out. And then when they make up, it feels like falling in love again. And and it's like saying, but do I want to fall in love again? Do I want to forget the past? Do I want to? Maybe, I don't know. Um, and then, because she even says like, I don't want to be late, don't want to be late, but then it's never too late, which are kind of contrasting, aren't they? And uh, they contradict each other. Um, so she's like, I don't want to be late for this event and it's never too late for to say sorry or to or never too late to you know leave the relationship but never too late to you know continue the relationship it's all these different thoughts that go around here float away float away on a river into the sound oh my gosh it's so funny she said that because that's literally on the take me apart album on the take me apart song I was talking about how it's like a, a waterfall like just like washing uh down these stones and so on and that's so because that's weird float away on a river into the sound yeah right all the way all the way through my body gets in the clouds i'm in a dream i wake up into the moment that we make up saying that again can i come see you tonight um want you all the ways yeah might be time to make that call start to text i hit a road do i want to fall in love again yeah like being like Mm, do I do this? Do I do this? Do I make that text? Do I make that call? She's very much like in a uh, um, the two of swords situation if you look at tarot and being very like I have a decision to make sort of thing and I don't know which one to do. No other lover could tend me still it's never too late too late to try it again. Yeah try it again so it is about the same person uh but don't want you to never too late take it or le take it or leave out the door only one way out it's never too late oh okay the story continues gorgeous all right next song closure <laughs> oh closure wait so is it the end of the relationship or That really, really feels good. Oh. like subby bass and then her glorious voice it's I'm sexy I love these interesting little like bell sounds that are like have a bit crusher on them in the back Industrial bit crushed sounds. Interesting. Oh, Ra Ra Gabo, Gabo, Gabo. <laughs> You know I always leave the situation sticky. Uh, yo, I ain't a pick me. <laughs> but tonight I'm hoping that you wanna pick, pick me. me. <laughs> woman, pick, pick me. me. Yes. Uh, yo, now what the lick be? When it's time I got your girl a little fixy. Yo, I want the tip be. You wanna drown, you know it's better than the shit be. You never drown, you ain't another Clinton Dixie. Nice. Uh, That's cool, actually. I like that. Oh, the drum. Is it gonna fall into the next song with this drum? Like that smooth transition. I have a feeling it might. If it does, I'm gonna literally love that. Nice! That's so good! Yes! Oh my god, it's, and it feels good too. Oh my gosh, the way like the bass hits on this, the subby like kind of kick drums and the subby like uh, sub bass and like um, the different drums all of it like the layers of like the sounds on this song really take you on a journey and it feels like you're going downwards a lot like the journey takes you down a lot and maybe that could be taking you in you know more of an internal thing too but um 
Oh, it's just so good. It lifts you up a little bit, but you're never up, up, up here. Her vocals might take you right up there, though, sometimes, actually. There'll be moments, but you're normally in the mid or, like, low mid, and then you drop down into these sounds. It's, oh, it's just so freaking good. Wow. Yeah, so just looking at the pre-chorus here. Give up, then I'll forgive you for talking to me dirty earlier. What do I get for you ghosting, love? Just come through. I'll forget it. Talk to me. I'm feeling wavy back and forth and so it goes but it's like being like you know even though you are ghosting me ignoring me just like come through now and I will forgive you it will be fine let's just have a nice night let's have fun together you know uh being very 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 forgiving and you know that that is just a symptom of heart of the heart isn't it of loving someone and yeah she's just saying I'm a wait up I'm a wait up I'll wait up for you and like the song before she was being like you know I'm not gonna wait I will not, you know, so hurry up. But now she's saying like, okay, I'll wait because you just, I just can't not wait. I love you too much that I'm going to wait. Wow, she, she's she got it hard. She's got it bad for this person. All right, next song is called Contact, which we've already kind of gone into, but I'll go to the start. Let's go. I'm gonna wipe away these bits after, don't worry. <laughs> Taking a ride for a five through the west side. Party to party, it's late, but we're wide awake. Time is so real, now I'm floating in outer space. In outer space. Ride it, might just rent you. Ride, we're working hard every day. you and makes you present because the dynamic shift is mwah. She's carried on this kind of garage, kind of drum, percussive sound throughout, you know, really bringing it back. Oh, it's transitioning! It's transitioning, girls! Okay, it went into fully. Okay, nice. Contact was nice. It definitely wasn't my fave again. Like, it had the same uh, feeling that, um, was it Mist Call? Or, uh, yeah, maybe Mist Call gave me, like, that kind of, like, Obviously it's a bop, but it's also like um, a lot more chill, I guess, in like not too much different inflections or strange things happening. But the way it, when it went drowned into that like deeper sound and weirdly, as I was like saying be just beforehand, how the sounds are already low in this mid range and they just pull you down deeper sometimes. It, and it literally did that so perfectly in that song. But um, yeah, I feel like that was a very lyrical song too. Like obviously they're all lyrical, but you could just, sometimes when you just feel like there's loads of words happening and not a lot of uh, instrumental changes, it feels like one where it's more like a, just listen to me sing, babes. This is one about the singing, okay? <laughs> 
Yeah, she's, uh, you know, the chorus very much like it's it's a sauna here if you wanna. It's 2 a.m. Yeah, we made it. Everybody faded. And now I'm floating away far and away. You trying to stall and delay, but I want to play. It, again, being like, fine, I'm out at the club now. You know, she's been trying to get his ass over, you know, uh, all night. And now she's finally gone, right, I'm going to the club and I'm going to dance. And if you want to come and fade away with me and just feel really like a you know, good in the club, you know, up in the club, drunk in the club or whatever else in the club. You know, I'm here, like you're st you trying to stall and delay, but I want to play. So come on. This really is depicting just one of those kind of nights out where you like really want to see someone that you have a crush on or that you like or love. And it's just not happening. And you're trying to have fun and you're doing all the things like you're acting out like how you'd be on a night out of your girls and like being like, yeah, like I'm gonna go dance, I'm gonna do these things, but you're constantly just thinking about that person. But then she says, we're hiding away in the back on a new high. I'll give you a taste if you're good, but you gotta wait. Your hands on my body, the feeling is so right. I just go all the way if it's up to me, hey. Oh, so maybe he is there. And, but she's also saying like, he's far away in a sense of like he's within himself he's still not embracing the moment even when they're together um which we kind of felt in other songs pre-chorus loneliness i see in your eyes it might just render you blind oh i love that like just how lonely you are it might make you blind to what's in front of you you know i'm right here that's a gorgeous lyric there really gorgeous like i'm right here you don't have to be alone ever again but Damn, I guess you're blind. Been getting harder these days. Contact we just have to make. You're stressing. That's not allowed. Got nothing holding us down. You're leaning in. I sway. Baby lamp. Let's dance it away. Ah, just dance all that pain away. Stress away. Ah, so gorgeous. Um, Kalela has actually said this about it. Contact has a little bit of something for every part of the night. It's a soundtrack for pre-gaming. A song to play as you're getting ready on your way to the club. It's also the interior club experience. The heat that envelops you when you walk into a packed rave. All this cul culminates in a very naughty psychedelic moment in the back of the club with a lover. Oh, yes, girl. Yeah, it's hot. Okay, right. Next song is called Foolie. Interesting. Ooh, sounds like it could be quite dark. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Wow. This one is, wow. That is real trippy. Deep. It creates so much space. That's cool. And I was talking about it sounding submerged. This is like some sort of like interval in a way. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Produced by Callie, Bambi and Brandon Peralta. That is seriously stunning. Oh. 
look much cleaner that looks without all the horribleness underneath it. Ooh. Oh, I just love the little waviness of that. Oh, and it was submerged though. And now we're into Holia. Okay, okay. I just love like that Foley was like, we're far away from submerged sound. I wonder what that means. Does that mean they're entering the light? They're entering, you know, uh, uh, somewhere above the water? Like the water you hear now, it sounds like you're on a boat on top of water or your head is above water. I don't know if it'll be like that, but it become, the song is called Holia. Therefore, it feels like when you think of heaven and holiness, you think of the sky, don't you? you think of going upward. So I'm so interested. Let's go, Holia. The vocal effect. It does feel lighter so far. Oh, sounds stunning. Mm. That is so pretty, those little synthy keys. Submerged anymore, are we? We are floating. Oh, mm, you won't learn anyway. Mm -mm. Has that gentleness like the first song, doesn't it? It's a rebirth almost. Beautiful. I'm excited to hear Raven, which is the title track. I'll let it go into it and then I'll pause. Oh. Oh, I feel like this one's going to be like sad or deep or emotional. I don't know. It's just, I, I already like the way it sounds. Okay. But anyway, I need to look into this song. All right. Take it away. And though we struggle apart, thought I was good, but I'm not. And though it troubles my heart, don't want to cover the scar. So I go where they hold me down and I go where they hold me down and you're not going to take my crown and I'm trying but this time around I'm afloat. Yeah, I'm floating away. Sitting around and I found out it ain't about, it ain't about no weight. I don't care what you're talking about. All the sh that you say, you won't learn anyway because I'd rather be holier. And I'd rather be holier, because I'd rather be holier, because I'd rather be holier. Never again. Never again. Wow, it felt like all like the first like little bit of the album that what we've heard up until now is all like this desperation, this like, I want you, I want to see you, I, I need you. And it's all like this very, and it was all submerged because it's just very much like a darker uh, emotion and water always resembles emotion in lots, so many ways throughout art. And now she's saying, but I'm floating away. I'm, you know, I've risen to the top and you can almost just see her like floating away, you know, and 
not not letting herself be bogged down by this pain anymore and and you know you won't learn anyway oh just that it says it all oh my gosh okay right let's go to raven let's do it i'm starting from the beginning though this is emotional It's getting more intense or louder. So long. it kind of made me think of Nirvana. Memory, memory. Has that similar? Glorious. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got so much goosebumps. Ah! <laughs> Giving me Frozen by Madonna for some reason. But Kalila's like. Are you fucking kidding? <sighs> oh my gosh, it's so stunning! She's got some amazing producers on here, and she also produced this too. This was Kalila and Asma Maroof. Feels just right. Feels just right. Wow! Is it moving? It's moving into bruises. Okay, I have to stop it, but wow, the transition. There's not been one bad transition. That's crazy. Raven. That's a song that was made. And it was made absolutely fantastically. And I I loved every minute of it. I loved like the whole first half of it just being like this real, like almost like melancholy, but like beautiful inward kind of song into this like, like fun kind of dancey song that makes you just explode. Like, I don't know. That's just so freaking cool, man. Oh my gosh. I love this album. I love it. Okay, album of the year so far. <laughs> Anyway, interesting. So I feel like I don't quite know what every lyric is about, but the long way, a raven reborn, pour it up. I love how it's like pour it up. Like, you know, everything's going up now. We're lifting. We are not submerged anymore. The weaving through the scorn, it's all over. 
me which is interesting like weaving through the school like I'm like being judged and people criticizing her and she's saying it's all over me like it's all about me and all this scorn is because of me or I'm not sure but then she goes through all the labor a raven is reborn they tried to break her there's nothing here to mourn I love that like they tried to break her as in like her past self but there's that past self is completely gone now so there's you can't even mourn it anymore like there's nothing there I am so totally reborn and I'm a raven as well I wonder if like a raven has like a spiritual meaning in some way to many ravens symbolize death or bad fortune to come but to others they symbolize rebirth and starting anew serving as a positive sign intelligence adaptability partnerships guidance transformation and prophecy and of course she is talking about rebirth took all my labor don't tell me that I'm strong you'll never wake up your silence lasts so long I hate that too when she says don't tell me that I'm strong like I love that line just in general because when people say you're so strong you're so strong it makes you feel worse because it's like actually I don't feel strong right now I feel broken please don't tell me I'm strong uh you know I, I don't know I just get what you're saying there uh, with that line in particular. The hype will waver, I'm nobody's pawn. That's interesting, like the hype will waver, like all the hype about me uh, will waver, or oh, I'll either be really popular or I won't be, but I'm nobody's pawn in a sense of like, I'm nobody's like doll. I'm no, I can't, no one can control me. I'm no, no one's like underling or, you know what I mean? Like, something like that. Um, and she says, don't need no favors. It's all good, I've moved on. So like, I don't need someone coming in, swooping in and being like, oh, we can get you to the top if you just do this, just do that, if you sell your soul. But she's saying, I'm good, I've moved on. Like, I'm not that like desperate for fame and hype because maybe she was before a little bit, you know, when you're young and you're first getting into the industry, you want to be known. But maybe now she's saying like, now nah, I'm cool, I'm gonna take my time and do my thing. I don't know, it could be an industry song. But I separate closer to what I need tonight. No other way, starting to feel my body now, I separate closer to what I need tonight. So it's like, I separate, like I separate myself from like the darkness from the past and I move forward into the future and I'm going for what I want more than ever. Uh, you know, I'm over the line. I'm taking that step into the adventure zone and it feels just right. Okay, anyway, let's go on to the next one, bruises. I feel like I'm never gonna get this makeup done. <laughs> I've just been like, I don't know. Oh well, who cares? Right, yeah, bruises, let's go. I can't believe how quick I've actually gone through this album. Like, I don't know. Because we've got one, two, three, four, five songs left. That's quite a lot, actually. So let's let's see how it goes. Just right, just right, 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 in the way the music is you know <laughs> you know <laughs> Yeah, you ain't taking no more. Wow, the percussion growing, changing in that second chorus. Great songwriting. The backing vocal. What? That was sick. 
punching you back into the present again. Got myself in the eye then, though. <laughs> Slowing down in tempo. Oh, it's gonna go into sorbet with the slowed down tempo. Oh my god, it really did that. That was nice. Okay, so bruises. Let me just finish this eyeliner a bit, just so we're not taking forever. I guess I'm giving it a slight raven look with these little like feathery flicks I've done. Thought, why not try and add a bit of a raven look? Because after hearing that song Raven, I was like when I was doing the makeup, it was actually kind of a spiritual experience. I'm not joking, I was looking in the mirror just doing bits of the makeup and being like, oh, I'm Raven. Like I could just feel it, it was really like powerful. But anyway, um, I'll do the other eye quickly, but I just want to show you what I've done. Okay, I think I've done the eyeliner okay. The cool thing about doing like lots of flicks is it you don't have to get them too super symmetrical. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna take these off for a second actually. Okay, so the song feels very much like you know, she is leaving this guy now and all the different things that he would do before, like, baby, please, everything will change, uh, you know, aren't working anymore. She's like, you've got to find another way. You have to find another way. If you want to keep me, you have to do something different. You have to actually change, basically. Instead of lying and saying, giving me all these sweet nothings, you actually have to do uh, the right thing now. Because, like, I like it here where she says, you wait for the uncle, wait till it breaks with the something to change. I can't relate, boy. Like, in my head, that means, like, you wait for the uncle, which is, and the uncle is, uh, you know, like, when you come back for another song or whatever, if you're playing live or whatever. And she's saying, you know, you wait for me to come back, but it's just not gonna happen anymore. You know, I can't, and I can't relate to the way you do things. Like, and also it made me think like of the climax too. You wait for me to go, that's it now. This is the end. Like there's no more doing this. And that's only when you'll beg. But when I just say nicely, like, please, can we try and work this out? You, you ghost me, you don't care about me, but you wait for like the big moment for you to actually pull out all these like no please stay sort of thing i know it doesn't say for the climax it says encore but it made me think of that on first listen she says but i changed my fate and my girl did the same i wonder when she says my girl did the same who's she on about is she on about her herself like her past self or or a friend or i don't know like i don't know maybe and we came i don't know but and we came to destroy you're feeling so next but it's sad because you're late wow yeah you're too late now i'm not waiting around but yeah very much just like find another way if you want to get to my heart if you want me to believe in you you know and so on you've got to find new ways of doing that that's really cool yeah just been doing my eye lashes mascara on this eye this honestly is the best mascara i've ever had and um I've said it already in other videos, but my friend got it for me for my birthday and she told me it's gonna be amazing. It's called um, Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. And uh, she was not wrong, it is so good, honestly. I'm like, wow, I actually have eyelashes and they're not fake. <laughs> Hopefully you could tell. So cool. I'll just quickly do the other eye and then I'll do the next song. Also, once like all the foundation's on and everything's, you know, uh, nice on my face, not looking like these silly rosy bits up here, um, it will come together so well. Alrighty. So yeah, next one's called Sorbet. Ooh. Ooh. I can imagine another one going on top of it. Sorry, I'm, I'm magic going, <laughs> I can't even do as high. I can't even do the note that I imagine. It. I can't even sing the note in which I imagine it to go. <laughs> I think that makes sense. All right, anyway. Oh. <laughs> 
Yes. That's kind of what I imagined it doing a little bit, you know? Like just gliding up over and over each other. Yes. Sorry, I'm getting hooked on that. Very soft. Oh. Wow, that oscillating. delay on it too reverb making it feel like it's fading away oh and now we're in divorce okay a bit of a heavy uh song title there divorce you know <laughs> okay uh i wonder if it'll be literal or metaphorical or i don't know i guess i'm gonna find out aren't i but um wow that was sorbet like at first i was like um liking it you know thinking oh this is a nice smooth gentle one but as it got more into it i got more into it i was like oh my gosh no this is more than just a smooth sweet like nice sexy song this is this is deep once again it, it is really emotional and like oh it just has so much feeling to it oh it's like magical i think kalela might be my favorite like r&b artist because she just mixes so many different I don't know, feelings together, the electronic dancey sound, but also like that very spiritual sound. I don't know. And I also just love how this album is like got like a interesting uh, ambient and atmospheric feelings that make you think and feel and you can interpret it in ways that are like, oh, like this, like that. I don't know. I'm just really enjoying it. Okay. I love it. My eyes are looking pretty intense now. I've got put on like the under eye sort of concealer. It's not concealer, it's foundation, but you know, acts as a concealer in a way. Uh, yeah, I'm liking it. But um, I always do my makeup styles a little bit messier on videos than I would if I wasn't doing a video, but I don't care. 
I'm just enjoying it and going with the flow. It doesn't look too bad. You know, it's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> right, anyway, I'll take these out, off, out, all, ow. Fucking hate it. it happens so much. Just grabs my hair. Evil. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll just quickly put this foundation on and I'll be blending it in whilst reading lyrics. I don't know, it seems like a, you know, a kind of saucy song, but um, it sounds like a, you know, I don't know where we are. When she keeps saying, I don't know where we are, I think it's almost like she's saying, I don't know where we are in this relationship. Like, I don't know if we're an item, if we're together, if we're not together, or if this is just a kind of one night stand after everything we've gone through, are we just, you know, because when we touch, we get into it, we can't help it. We, we are mag magnetic almost. And when we touch, we have so much chemistry, but like, where are we like really in this whole thing? I don't know if it's meaning that, but there's a sadness to it, you know, because it's like, but is that all it is? This lust? Is that all we are now? Where are we? But then it also sounds kind of trippy, like they've taken something and are exploring each other through body and soul, you know? It's, it's some sort of feeling there where it feels like they're on a journey together through like a hallucination. I don't know if that makes any sense, but to me it kind of does. Um, you know, I don't know where we are and it never ends like this, like we are in this kind of, place in our minds and it's just going on and on and I don't know where it ends you know and no need to rush because it never ends you know so just take it slow with the sensualness I guess of like a, a, a intimate activity being like it's no rush because it's just going to go on forever because everything goes on forever when you live in the present do you know what I mean if you just stay present there is no such thing as time like this can last forever I don't know, there's so much different like things that I feel like it could be about, but I'm just not fully sure. But yeah, that's my best interpretation, I guess. <laughs> I'd love to hear what you think of some of these songs. Sorry, my ears are so red from uh, having the headphones on. So I'm like, oh my God, let's make them less red. Not that it really matters because the headphones are gonna be on again in a minute. <laughs> oh well. All right, okay, so the next song is called Divorce. Let's get into it. Let's get into the old divorce. Mm. <laughs> Feels quite dramatic. Wow. Wow. Ooh, it's only a verse and an outro, actually. Ooh. This production. Under the surface of my fighting the tide, no drowning. Wow. Pushing a rock up a mountain. Mmm, the way it just goes so empty there. someone else where you've been hiding or maybe she's falling in love with herself there is actually a positive feeling to this like massively as we come to the end of the album nearly wow it's so cohesive man this album with the sounds the lyrical content the storyline oh I just love Perfect. It's a submarine. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Under the surface, I'm lying. Fighting the time. Now I'm drowning. You know, like, 
under the surface I'm lying can also be like I'm lying like as in telling a lie you know under the surface I'm just lying to myself but also under the surface of the water I'm just lying there and wait and then fighting the time you know she's trying to fight the time to catch her keep her breath you know so she can hold her breath uh, but then now I'm drowning and it's like I've been lying to myself so much I'm drowning as well as drowning under the water pushing a rock up a mountain obviously that's just a really tough thing to do pushing it up and up and up she's like oh like the struggle she's gone through I want to go you around it I'm not sure exactly what I want to go you around it means it, I know it's just like the way she writes her lyrics and so on like I'm not always like super savvy being a British white girl <laughs> right anyway with somebody new I think she's just saying like you know I want to go with somebody new why when it's done I keep trying you know why when it's over and everything is done and like I am completely like it's the end of me do I keep trying but then she says steady I'm diving in deep you know she's like okay but I'm gonna keep I am gonna keep doing it I'm gonna dive in deep and like fall in love all over again and oh where you where have you been hiding on the outro feels like it's going to lead into the next song and hopefully it's about someone new or it's about herself like she's going to dive deep into herself and find the love within her because it's like why when it's done do I keep trying you know with relationships so now she's like I want to dive in deep and find a love within me maybe that's the change that needs to happen I don't know but anyway next song is called enough for love my foundation is a bit lighter than the rest of me, but just ignore that. I do need to get a new one. Stop so we can talk about it. Just believe it or not, there are people paler than me. <laughs> Let go even though you doubt it. Mm. I don't really know why you walked away. Never really know what you got to say. And I don't really know why we escalate. Wow, now look at that highlight. <laughs> Insane. Yeah, you come around, but you never stay. Never stay. Cause you forget about us. But you're not alone, not alone. But you forget about us. No, you're not alone, not alone. Oh, you're tough enough, enough, enough. Nice. It's not enough for love. Yeah. Mm. Reba. You're enough. Such carefully placed effects like delay and reverb. And I know you're trying, you're trying. On, even the Ooh, tell me are you keeping up with your walls? Can you love the way, baby? Are you even there? <laughs> My nose. Tiny nose. This one's nice, but it's not like shaking me, even though I really like it. The drums are, again, percussion, just so cool. This is the penultimate track. I'm actually excited to get into the lyrics of this. Ooh, on the water again. I have to admit, I was quite focused on my makeup during that one, but it's because like, even from the start, it just had like this nice feeling, like nothing that like really pulled me in, but just like nice, you know? So I was like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna focus on this. And if anything pulls me out of my concentration, then it does, but you know, I guess it makes it more genuine. I don't know why I've done this to my nose, but that's kind of cute actually, just like a little like, <laughs> All right, and it's quite a lyrically charged one, so that does make a lot of sense why, you know, it was a bit more chill. But then again, the drums were really interesting and eclectic, but still relaxed, you know? I do love that, like, are you tough enough for love, she says. Like, 
because actually you're acting tough being all like closed off but actually being in love and committing to that is more tough than anything you know because it's such a big feeling and avoiding it doesn't make you strong it makes you weak in a way or like it makes you broken or whatever you know but being ready for love is taking on a huge thing and you do have to be kind of tough for it tell me are you keeping up with your wounds can you love through it baby like are you checking in on your like what has hurt you are you are you in therapy are you healing are you looking after yourself and through all that pain are you able to love through it you know and then she says I don't really know why you walk away never really know what you got to say are you even there and I don't really know why we escalate and I don't really know why you're testing me yeah you come around but you never stay it's like why are you putting up such a front why are you pushing me away all the time like yeah you come over but you never stay it, again it's that same person it's like I kind of thought she'd maybe got away from him but maybe she's in a stage now where it's more like a instead of oh let me in let me in let me in it's got to a point of why don't you let me in why though and it's not desperate anymore it's more of just like a after all that's said and done I just want to know why like why so I can have closure and go like thinking about the song closure earlier on like this is the closure part where she literally is being like why like I just want to know why like and then whatever you do what you want and I just want to know what we can do about it because once we know why then we can see where to go from there do you know what I mean and then because you forgot about us you're not alone not alone are you tough enough love you know just sad again like being like you forgot about us it's like oh, you know you, would, you just don't want that to be what it is you know like you don't want it to be that he's forgotten and then you know he she's saying at the end like you're enough for love like she's just telling him it's almost like she's holding him being like you are enough you're enough to be loved like don't feel like you're not stop running away because you feel like you don't deserve it or something like you are enough i'm just gonna do a little tip of the more top of the morning tip no i'm not doing anything to do with top of the morning i'm doing a little bit of highlight on the tip of my nose well not tip but up here so it doesn't look too strange. I've got like a really bent nose, like it bends to one side. So whenever I do this, I find it quite hard because I basically have to go against my bone structure whenever I contour my nose, which is something I actually very rarely, rarely do. But recently I tried it up again just because I thought it'd be fun. Yeah, that kind of works. Beep, beep. But yeah, we're getting on to the last song now. Literally doesn't feel like it's been as long as it, as long as it has which is really nice. It just shows how much I've enjoyed it. You know what I mean? And like the lyrics weren't too hard to like dive into and understand. So it's like, I didn't have to do like long, long reading moments. I'm kind of like, I just read for it and then get like the general vibe and then say what I think. I really like it when it's like that with albums. Cause like sometimes it's so hard when you have to read like every single line just to understand it. And I don't mind doing that, but sometimes it's like, oh, can't be asked it's not even that it's not that I can't be asked it's just like like I said it already on the scissor album like there's one of me only so much time and I've got to edit this thing I've got to get it out so and like I can't sit there and read and read and read because like all the screen and like the lights and all that give me headaches I get tired I need lunch you know what I mean because I could go on for like five six hours else <laughs> if I look for every line and try and pick it apart okay now we're going to do the lipstick while we do the last song. Okay, oh my gosh, and the last song is actually called Far Away. And she's said Far Away so much throughout this album. And then it's even it's even cooler because the first song was called Washed Away. Okay, I hope it's good. All right, let's go. Last album, uh, last song. So nice. Oh, the song's getting more full. That 
that's insanely good. Come on, vocals. It's just like a kind of instrumental track with beautiful vocals. Cool. And it feels positive. Oh my gosh. Sorry, just need to... Wow! It is so gorgeous! Feels like she's flying through the air! Wow. I love how that was the ending actually because it like was like the first one but like very, quite different too, more impactful. You could feel it on like a, like the intro one was like a, oh, what's going to happen? And this is all like now things has been said and done and you know the context and now, it, you know, she's saying far away. She's far away from all of it, all of this pain, all of like this, you know, this guy even, and, or maybe it's again saying that he's far away, you know, he, and, or faded away, I don't know, they're just far from each other, and um, nothing, he didn't change, he didn't, you know, grow, um, so she's given up on him, I guess, I don't know though, because obviously the enough for love was interesting, because she was being like, you are enough, like, why, why, like, almost felt like she was trying to work him out, but then we end on Far Away, it almost feels like there could have been some more songs in between, just to make it, like, in between Enough for Love and Far Away, just to, like, give it, so we can understand more, it kind of leaves you on an open ledge, where you don't know if it's still ongoing with this guy, or if it's fully over, because there was a bit in the middle, wasn't there, where, like, with Raven and stuff, where it's, like, rebirth and changing, and she's holier and holier, too, like, being, like, no, it's, you know, I'm not going to do this anymore. But I don't know. It could be, like, not even about a guy at all. It could be about something completely different. Yeah, please tell me interpretation because, like, I feel that like this is one way you can really get in deep with, like, trying to think of, like, what things mean and so on. But all I know is that in Far Away, she wasn't submerged at all anymore. In fact, she was in the sky. She wasn't just sitting on top of water. She was, like, a, in the sky. She was in the clouds, you know? which is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, what a crazy, amazing album. And definitely was just so amazing. Like, I'm so happy I enjoyed it. Like, I enjoyed like pretty much every song. Now, obviously there were songs where I was like, this is cool, nice, like cute, pretty, whatever. But some songs just like grabbed me and all the songs were good. Um, yeah, my extension, I put some black extensions in, but they're not really mixing with my normal hair too amazingly right now they were earlier but because i've had my hair all pushed back but oh well I, it still looks kind of gothic and raveny um what do you think okay so this is the look it's a kind of you know it's not super neat and perfect but that's fine it's just kind of like a raveny gothicy kind of darker darker look you know oh and look with my little fluffiness faux fur of course <laughs> oh it looks super dark look at me quick <laughs> i'm like quick 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 look at this angle i can't hold it any longer so intense blimey i just kind of love it Far away. <laughs> no i do like it you've got to have a certain like you can't be like this though. Ha ha, yee dee dee. Doesn't look very like dark then. You have to literally be like. And look at the highlight. So sheer. You know, it's like. 
the sheen on it. It's cutting. It could cut you. But yeah, and I never normally do inner corner lines here because I always feel like it makes my eyes look too close together. But I feel like I've worked out quite well uh, with this look to make it still look normal. Like my eyes aren't too close together. I want to do my eyebrows like this more often though. I know they're pretty intense, but they're kind of cool. Anyway, I need to stop marvelling at my beauty. <laughs> It's not, like, honestly, I'm just trying to show off the work. I know it looks like I'm being, like, really vain and being like, oh, look how amazing I am. But, like, you know, when you've done something, you want it to be shown in the best way, like, what are the best angles, what's the best position. You know, I'll take some photos after anyway. But, um... Yeah, I love this album and I do want to know your thoughts. If you liked my reaction, let me know. And yes, I shall see you next time. Bye.